Are you drinking coffee? It's Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Pooler Designs. The first thing that I need to discuss with you is I need to know about matcha. So Eva has been having some tummy aches lately. Okay. And so uh, I suggested Prilosec. Maybe we should try that. She gave me a whole laundry list of side effects from the internet and said, I want to try matcha instead. <laughs> well, I, look at her. I like that. I know. So uh, I got some matcha powder on Amazon. It arrived last night and I mixed it up this morning. She said to me, well, we don't have the stuff because you, she wants, a, she wants to froth it. She wants some almond milk, which we do have. I was going to say. she wants vanilla syrup. If she wants a matcha latte or something like that, and she's having stomach problems, dairy is definitely not the way forward. But. Almond milk is okay, right? Almonds are super hard to digest. And some oh. people drink almond milk as an alternative to dairy and then don't oh. realize they have sensitivity. Almonds are very okay. high on, like, allergen lists. Okay, so that's what I see. Eat, like, this I, is my very right often now. in the morning, we'll eat like a little handful of almonds, <clears> and sometimes I'm like, oh, my stomach feels weird. And I'm like, why? I'm like, I might have sensitivity to almonds. What about coconut milk? Yeah, Can I, I do that? oat, okay. and you can also have issues with that, but um, we're just going to try a bunch of things before because <laughs> I've told her you need to like. In your notes app on your phone, yeah. keep track of it. What you ate before. Because that's what the doctor's going to ask. Your was hurting. And I'm going to mm -hmm. go in, and he's going to say, that'll be $250, uh -huh. please. So before we do that, let's try some things. So matcha came. I mixed it with hot water and some almond milk, almond milk for uh -huh. myself. And it tasted like I was drinking grass clippings. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm not going to lie. A, I will say this. It was a cup of grass clippings. I have not tried it, so I really shouldn't have an opinion on it. But I have investigated it and thought, nah, I'm a pass. But I don't really like green tea, to be honest. Oh. So I don't, I love green smells. I Actually, smell this lotion I have on today is a green smell, but I don't care for green flavors. Yeah. And I don't mean vegetables. I mean something that tastes like grass. Actually, I put sweet cream creamer in it. Sweet Italian cream creamer in it. Just a splash. I don't know if that goes that with matcha. Good. It was good. Oh. It was good. Um, well, that's it experiment. Tasted, it tasted like grass clippings with sweet cream. So, <laughs> so friends. Let me know if you have any experience with matcha. And how do you make it? And how do we do it? Mm -hmm. What should we be doing? Oh. What is your favorite source if you are a, a matcha expert? And let's carry on. If there was something else I had to discuss. Books. I finished hello, book hello. number nine. Her and I, again, were arguing about how many books I've read this year. I said, well, I read five in January and then four in December. I was teasing her. I was like, you've read 20, right? Yeah, it's 20. And Erica pointed out that how would I know how many books I've read because I don't even know what month it is. Because I said <laughs> December and I really meant February. And Monday was oh. a federal holiday. We were supposed to be off, but we decided not to be because we would released. And I came in on Monday and thought it was Tuesday all day. So I told them on Wednesday when I thought it was Thursday. I'm like, I obviously took a day off and you guys just didn't know. I enjoyed my holiday. So for you, today is Friday. Yes. And it is Friday for me because I, I won't be here tomorrow. I texted my sister and said, are we still hanging out tomorrow? And she said, no. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, Saturday. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I replied that way. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what day it is. <sighs> I mean, how could you? So I might stay home tomorrow. Melanie, you've read eight books in twenty twenty three. Good. You can stay home tomorrow. Yeah, I, I might. I was like, I could work from home tomorrow. Um, Bessie's been sneezing a lot, and I felt Aww. sorry for her this morning. Uh, there was um, Diane started on book ten. You're right. At, you're just uh -oh. ahead of me. Um, there was a little pollen on my windshield this morning. It's gonna be eighty here today, and I am angry about it. Susan and I are like, holla. Beautiful out. It's almost March. I have flip flops on, but there's a problem. My toes are not painted, and Valerie and I were horrified <gasps> by it. Don't look down. Don't look down. So, this is why I stood in my closet for 20 minutes this morning because the only pair of shoes that I really wanted to wear today, because my toes, I tried to paint my toes last night, it didn't go well, and then I got frustrated. So, the only pair of shoes I had are my new Toms and their leopard print. And Ooh. I didn't want to, like, oh. be too busy. So, oh, I had put cool. a couple outfits on, and I'm like, this isn't going to work with the Toms. I have to wear sandals, and I'm not wearing sandals because my toes aren't painted. So, don't look at mine, please. You guys. 
Why are we so uppity about that it? That is horrifying. Catherine has naked toes with sandals on. No thanks. Why are we so uppity? No thanks. You can have unpainted toenails if no. you want. If you want to, you I can. I think because feet are kind of gross to begin with. Some of with. friends might have unpainted toenails, and it's fine. Well, I love you, friend, and you be I'm gonna you. I'm going to stick up for anyone that has unpainted toenails, including myself. It is time to stamp. Rainbows and butterflies <laughs> today. <laughs> Wait till you retire and can't remember what day it is. Our we friends are like, can't remember what day. Please. Run that 14 inches of snow. Yeah, do not complain about 80 degrees. It is wonderful outside. I, Brenda, I really wish we'd get our, <laughs> our two year inches of snow that we generally we get. we got nothing. It has snowed, nothing. snowed in it's April. Snowed. It has snowed, snowed in April before. <laughs> so I'm holding out hope that the temps will dip back down and we'll get a little snow in March and then we'll be done with it. Joanne, I don't either because why would you? Your toes are never showing. You always got fluffy socks on during the winter. But... Suddenly, it's 80 degrees and it's time for flip flops, so you better get to the salon. We want well, to toes painted. No, I'm going to do it myself. But we need to look down now because I'm going to strip my sweater off. Let's go. Look, I made this <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it is warm in here. I used the macrame hanger. It's from the Hang In There stamp. It's a three by four and it is free with all orders over $50. If you put it in your cart and then Put the uh, code in to get it for free. We're popping those in. So that's this uh, stamp and buttercream back there. And then I did the hanging plant over the top. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, if you gave this to a friend and said, this started out as a blank sheet of white paper. This is impressive. <laughs> this is one of those cards that I say that to people. I say, this started out as a white sheet of paper. You say hashtag, what I, I made this. We need to look start stamping that on the back I of the cards. did. All that texture, all that dimension, and the movement. It's so pretty. You proud of you. Yeah, this one, I made this one with the spiced latte. Mm-mm. Cargo. Powder. No, this one is spiced latte. Oh. This one is cargo. Oh, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't around when you did that one. Did you do that on a reel? Oh, I did. That's Are you why. giving a real preview? Yeah, this is going to be a real later. <laughs> I was like, nah, sis. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> and I made this one Nah, girl, you didn't make that. Nah, girl. I, yeah, I did. <laughs> Some of you have been asking about the dappled effects embossing Trio. powder. Yeah, so we're going to do this today. Yeah. So, so it's it was inspired by our friend Marion Emerson, which means she did the mix. We love that. She does all of our mixes for us. If you guys don't know Marion, you need to start mm -hmm, following mm -hmm. the WOW team and she's sugar and spice. Yeah, she's awesome. On Instagram, she's fantastic. <clears throat> this is dappled peach, dappled pink. I'm very impressed by these. They look really pretty. These are in our shop now and dappled coral. So I want to say they're the <clears throat> colors of the, the way the photo is on the webpage doesn't really do them justice, guys. They're really gorgeous. They have really high gloss mm -hmm. to them. And there are just sort of like a little bit of white speckle and then variants in the coral has like peach. I mean, the peach has like peach and pinky kind of colors. Really, really pretty. They are super pretty. So we're going to use them on some of the rainbow arches today. We're going to use pink champagne, crushed violet, apricot, whipped honey, and terracotta. These are spa colors. They have a muted undertone. <laughs> Some of them are the new minis from the Apothecary Collection. I'm rubbing off on you because you just said muted. <laughs> like it was eight syllables, which is how I like to okay. say Okay, I always have to ruin everything. You ruined everything. Okay, carry on. <clears throat> I just, I ruined everything. Here we go. So, we're also going to use the Smile Bright stamp set. This is all over Instagram right now because we're doing a hop. If you go to Instagram and find the Catherine Pooler account, you can go through the hop and get all kinds of inspiration using this stamp set. A million ways to use it. Amazing. And we're going to use it today. What am I starting out with? I'm starting out with pink champagne. Um, yes. And yeah, we were going to here. here. So we're going to use dappled pink. Okay. So you could do it over the pink champagne, which I think would be fun. Uh -huh. And then we're also going to use the dappled peach either in place of or okay. with the apricot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to do dappled 
pink without the pink champagne behind it. Yep. Okay. I think. So we're going to use it as that placeholder or that color. Okay. So, so it's not exactly the same because it wasn't designed to be, but we just mashed them up for fun. Um, someone is asking about the, hold on. April, I, I can show you, but buttercream is a neutral, so it will be a very different than peach, but I will show you. Now, the other day we were doing something with the buttercream and it was, we, we picked up some color off of a dirty stamp, so it didn't mm. work. This is true. buttercream right here. Yes. So, yeah. Be pretty to use together. together for sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely pretty to use Absolutely. together. There you go. Thanks for that. Sure. Right. So we were using pretty. dappled pink, yes? Mm -hmm. okay. Dappled pink. And we are using the Mini Misty. Um, Susan, what I will say about the stamping platforms and stamps, when you have a large area solid stamp like this rainbow, especially if you're doing a technique like embossing, you want to make sure that you get it really inked up well. So being able to do that several times over is going to be really, really helpful. Um, if you're doing something else, you know, freehand is fine, but we like to do it a couple of times when we're embossing so we get it really inky. And I can see a spot too, so I'm going to have to like do a touch up there. Yeah. So I could shake this off, but because it's such a solid surface, there's a lot of surface area here. Um, and because the powder has some big flecks in it, if I tapped it off, I would lose some of this powder here and I don't want to. I want that all to be on there. So just brush away excess with my paintbrush. And then I'm going to start heating from underneath. And if I miss any spots, there's a couple ways I can remedy that. I'll show you those in a minute. So Sherry's offered big money for a pre-printed color wheel that she doesn't have to print. Sherry, we can, I can sell you one out of the back of my car. <laughs> <laughs> for big money, no problem. <laughs> you can send, you can Venmo me a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you actually discussed having it in the shop? Um, it may be something we do at, at some point. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so shiny. Did you fix our I, I hope so. We were so I'm sorry, guys. blown out. I try. I, I have to get better about that. I think we need to Not Google putting my hand what's happening that. when that happens. Because it's that I've had camera like adjusting, but I know, but I think it has also something to do with it because I just <clears throat> took, turned it a little and it's fixed it a little. So, so since I'm using lights. the Misty, I can just pop this back in and stamp it again. And it's going to be in the exact same spot. Because I got a little, not so much there. Yes. A little, not so much. A little, not so much. <laughs> and then I can add another layer. Can you grab the mixed media brush? I sure can. Wonderful. Allison said she really enjoyed the Insta Hop. She met a bunch of new creators. Oh, That's so great. Oh, look at that. The shine is really pretty on this. Yeah, and um Yeah. Mini Misty's great for card projects. There are definitely times when having a full size would be super handy depending on what your project is, but definitely the mini. I use my mini most of the time. Okay. Another thing I could do on the mixed mm -hmm. media brush, because I had a spot here that was kind of empty, not enough powder. So you can take your brush and brush some embossing liquid onto any spots that you missed on large images like this. That'll work. Wow. That's yeah, like it's a wow. shimmery. It almost feels metallic. 
Yeah. Which is really, really cool. cool. All right. Next layer. Crushed violet for a dot for the win. You want to tape this so they see where you're pulling from. Um, how many colors of inks do we have all together? 95 right now, Tanya? I think that's correct. Yeah. I'm going to grab this one. Tanya, your name is spelled just like my sister. Yeah, I think we're at 95 at the moment. Uh, with both the spa and party lines. We have a few more party colors than spa colors, but we're at, you know, 40 something on each, so around 40 something. 40 something. <laughs> So I'm going to grab Crushed Violet. <clears throat> and how is the sound today? I have the microphone plugged in. So let us know how it is. Pamela was saying she didn't know you could layer up your embossing. Definitely can, Pamela. And you can even, um, like if you used something that had color and you wanted to put some uh, gloss on top of it, you can layer clear on top of another textured um, and the more you do it, kind of the more of a enameled vibe you get to yeah. a point. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you enameled cook it too well. long, it can kind of like burn basically. So you just want to be mindful of letting it cool between and yeah. So next I wanted to use the doppled peach. I want to try layering some color behind. Is that the solid or the dotted? Oh yeah. Nice. I think that will be fun to do the apricot yeah. first and then. Where's the peach? Where'd it go? Here it is. There. Okay, so I'll have this ready to mm -hmm. go. Our inks are really juicy, so they're super wet. So when I stamp this, well, I didn't stamp it super solid. <laughs> it's gonna stay wet or damp for a couple seconds. What is wrong with this little spot right here? Oh no, Patty mm. said she got so many things in her order this week, but she didn't add this and now she's feeling sad. <laughs> yeah, it's a great set. Still in the shop and it will be for a while, so you can always go back and add it. Absolutely. All right. So now I have the apricot ink <gasps> with the dappled peach embossing powder on top. I am loving the dappled peaches pretty. Make sure I don't have any of the dappled peach sticking to my violet. Excuse my reach. Oh, no problem. Okay. Pretty cool. So I have the polka dots on there, and then the dappled peach has some white in it, so then it looks extra dotty. Yeah. Extra dotty. Depending on the like angle, it. that is cool. It also gives it kind of a <clears throat> a more of a like rusticy feel, which goes goes with the boho vibes. If you're a couple of folks have said on Facebook that they were having some like breaking up and stuff. If you're having issue, you you can refresh. You could also hop over to YouTube and check us out there and see if that's better. Maybe, maybe not. Huh. What what are they having issues with? Freezing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that happens to me sometimes when we're on Facebook and I'm on my on your computer. Okay. So what I don't know why it does that. Don't know why. Oh, beautiful. One pass and I'm good with that. And then we have this little heart and some flowers in the set too. We'll do a cute little heart right there. And I could just grab a block and stamp it, but I wanna make sure that I get it nice and solid. And also when you're stamping these layers, you wanna make sure that this, the first color dries before you do the second color. Because if this is still
still wet and damp and you do a color on top of it, the it might bleed a little bit because you're adding wet ink onto wet ink. So I'm just going to let that sit for a sec. Yeah, these Dappled Effects uh, Wow Trio, these EPs are so cool. <clears throat> I'm glad you guys asked to see those in person. Yeah. yeah, Erica said to me this morning, why don't we do Dappled Effects? I said, oh yeah, sounds like a good idea. And then sentiment, what are we going to do for the sentiment? Uh, if you've been watching, you see we created the large smile and bright to the design idea was that you would stamp these down, stamp it down here and then stamp the secondary sentiments either on top of it to the side or on a cloud. I think that's a really fun idea. What if we cut the whole rainbow out and popped it up? Mm -hmm. What can we do on the background for something oh. interesting? Well, you have a, a, a big pile of powder over there. Where did that I come sure from? Do. I don't know. <laughs> That's well. I was so surprised by that. That is Here's a big like, pile of powder. Over there. You made a mess. Let's see. Where oh, boy. It? Whoopsie. Oh, boy. Oops. <laughs> That's so funny. I looked over that pile, and I just, like, was so surprised. Like, I had to look at it for a couple seconds to figure out what it what I was looking at because I didn't <laughs> expect it. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That little heart. Oh, that's adorable. Adorable. So you want to die cut this? Yeah, and I feel like we need to kind of pull, like it's fun to take one of the, the accent colors, like either the crushed violet or the terracotta and maybe accent with that a bit. Mm. I'll cut that out and then you can okay. keep thinking about it. And I also love the cards tape. that we've seen where people have oh, yeah. done a layer over. And then maybe we make a shaker. Put the rainbow behind the shaker? If I was really careful with this, we could use both pieces. Oh, yeah. We could. So pop the We haven't up. done that, so let's do that. Let's shake away. Okay, so some other cards to inspire you using this stamp set. Yeah, a couple of clouds would be fun. Uh -huh. um, two. Yeah, so that was the idea, the smile down here and then the sentiment in the cloud. Just like that. So cute. You could also do this. Do it off to the side. Then you make your heart smile. A lot of great ways to use this set. All right, I stuck the tape on my jeans. So look at this. Oh. I mean, ta and na. <laughs> Perfect. All right. What do um, we think about the sentiment? Smile or bright across the bottom? What if we used the hugs word time? Oh, we could. Still do a shaker, but just put yeah. hugs on there. Okay. Let me cut. Wait, we cut one out the other day we didn't use. Is it around here somewhere, or should we cut another we, one out? Yeah, it's in one of these bins. So one of those or this pink one here. Okay. And the, it's in a bag. And then and maybe we pieces could cut together. the background piece of it out with them. No, not this bin. This is last year. Oh, here it is. With a piece of that. Uh, lad. Where is the apothecary? Lad. Do, do, do. Okay. Grabbing some supplies. Grab some supplies. My acetate sheet. I also am kind of thinking this piece got a little, um, what do I want it? What word am I looking for? Mucky. Um, I don't know what word you're looking for. Because of all of the heating that I did. Oh, yes. So let me die cut another piece. Does anyone know where Catherine's apothecary flats are? That's what I want to know. Probably in that same bin. All right. Take your H, U, your G, and your S. I'm going to cut Oops, one sorry. more background piece out for you just to okay. have options. I mean, 
looking for apothecary plaid? Yeah. What for? To add potentially a pop of that behind the hooks. All right. Found it. <clears throat> All right. Find my piece of acetate. It's too long. <laughs> So I just need it to cover up this cutout right here. You know what? One of the brand ambassadors cut a bunch of those hearts out and it was so cute. For the shape, for a shaker? Yeah. Oh, adorable. Okay. And then I don't have a whole lot of strips. So I'll uh -oh. use this. Cut it down. Okay. Now we're cooking. Oh, someone said, don't lose that little heart stamp. <laughs> I know. It went flying when you guys weren't looking, <laughs> and I did find it. I was very oh. relieved. I got very upset for a minute. Okay, so I went over with this. So I'm going to trim this down. Oh, Betsy just welcomed a new great granddaughter. Congratulations. Uh, Joanne said thank you for the spring download. You are welcome. If you missed the spring download, we will be sending it out to our newsletter next week. And then Susan was asking about embossing from behind. Yeah, Susan, if the powder is chunky or like a glitter powder, um, sometimes if you go straight to the front, you blow a whole bunch of it off and you lose that those pieces that melt into interest. So if you start from the back, mm. then you're able to, don't forget your rainbow. I know. If and you I start know. from the back sequence. But the oh. rainbow needs to go behind the window. Yes. Um, if you start from the back, then you start to melt down some of that embossing powder, and then it holds on to those chunks, and then they have time to melt. So that's why we do it that way sometimes. Sometimes. Um, I pulled Salt Lake City because it really has mm. that pink and yellow and kind of like really like easy vibe that looks pretty. But I also pulled... Um, Halervos, and I didn't know that really goes with crust lilac if you wanted to put a couple of those in or not. I don't think you could go wrong with either of these, but I think I'm going to do Salt Lake City. I think that is the perfect vibe for this. Yeah. And also while I was putting this on here, I should have lined all of this up first before putting this on there because then it was harder for me to get the rainbow in the right place. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Okay. Let's add a couple sequins in here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I don't need a ton. Okay. Just a few sprinkles in there are really cute. Cute. So cute. I love the little flowers too oh, yeah. in that Salt Lake City. I kind of feel like I want more in there. Uh oh. She's going to rip it apart. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. Ripped it apart. <clears throat> yep. Oh. Well, let's just speed a couple more in there. <laughs> no harm, no foul. No. All is well. There. Okay, so then the hugs. Erica die cut this. As an option, yeah. We could put these guys on here. Or we could do something else with the white. We can direct a paper. We could, I don't know. What do you think? What looks good? If you're just joining in, welcome. We are playing with the um, Smile Bright 
Six oh, by eight know. stamp set and the Snug Hugs word die. And we're also playing with the new um, Daffled Effect Trio from WOW that we just added to the shop recently. Um, it is really pretty with um, some of our spa ink colors here. So we're having a good time. Do you see that direct to paper? Yeah. I mean, just just it. A, mm, swipe. Like a dream. And now I have crushed violet cardstock. I love so, too with your mini, you didn't get ink. Everywhere. Everywhere, and you don't really mm -hmm. need more than a, a little pop. <clears throat> I think that's pretty cute. That is so cute. That hugs is giving me kind of the retro vibes that I feel like are really part of what the what what today's boho look looks like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So fun. Adorable. I love it. I love this hugs die. Snug hug is what we call it. <laughs> so cute. I want a snug hug. Okay, I'll give you one in a minute. <laughs> Very cute. I want also in a little, I know we have stamps in it here and there that say XOXO. Uh-huh. You want to add an XOXO? Yeah, we don't have to write this minute if, if we can't find um, one. Let me just look in cute the sentiments XOXO? box if I can find it. Okay. Okay. I feel like in my brain I know where an XOXO is, but I in the it's in the back of my brain, not the front of my brain. <laughs> Anybody been there? Well, there's three little X's on here, which is like kisses. They're not they're just decorative, but that's cute. Dude. Having a good time. X, X, X. Stop me now. Could use some of the one of these to do like a little extra. Been thinking about here's you. one. Oh, you. Oh, super one? cute too. Ooh. The bottom corner there. Oh, good eye. Oh, that's perfect. That isn't even what I was looking for. Here's yeah. another one. Okay. You have such a good eye. Where's the Thanks. XOXO in that's, there? That's that's why. Oh, you, that's why you hired me. Oh, that's so cute. XO. Someone that told line. me the other day I was pretty good with color. I was like, oh. if I wasn't, I may have to work somewhere else. <laughs> I was oh like, oh, goodness. thanks. I know. <laughs> She's like, wow. How did you know which ink colors went with that? It's I a knack. And in creating them, so <laughs> it's a knack. Okay, so this is called the Best Kind of Friends Sentiment Stamp Set. It was part of a Circe, I believe. Oh my gosh. I think last summer. Is so That's adorable. This is a perfect oh, I just got loud. Sorry guys. I was <laughs> excited. Oh, that's perfect. Super excited. Just a little. Did I miss any questions, guys? I'm sorry. I've been I've been micromanaging Catherine over here like she That's needs my help. You do. I do need your help. I totally needed it. So thank you. Hugs. I don't normally do that. I love it. It's perfect. Let me help you, sis. So, so, so. I needed you. So thank you. Let's see. The the hugs dies could be used for so many occasions. It could be like a cutesy hugs, or it could really be more of a sentimental hugs, depending on what you write inside or what you stamp inside. So, you guys, so precious. One on a Valentine. Betsy, that's what I was looking for. I know there was one on a Valentine stamp set, but I was pulling out the sentiments. So, so, so what happens is if we're closer to the camera, it doesn't blow us out. Okay. So we have so to we say goodbye close. Over. And and I have to not get my hand in there. Right. So wait, hold on. Okay. Don't ready? Don't push your finger to the right. left. You ready? Okay. <laughs> we have to cuddle for the rest of the live. So that we it's because we're both wearing black today. It's what's happening is I noticed it's picking up this light, and then when it gets too much of the black from our shirts, it blows us out. Mm -hmm. Then our white faces become really, really white. Powder, like the movie Powder. Penny must know if we're related. No, we're not. We've just been friends for a long time, decade and a half. I found a Facebook post from 11 years ago when I'd bought a sofa for my apartment in Cary. And I posted, oh, I just got a new sofa for my apartment. So excited. And Catherine went, where are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I need to come by. I know. 
you? because she then you didn't say anything and so then did you she ghost moved me somewhere else so i've been in england right before england, that and then yeah. she moved back <laughs> i probably didn't see that update because it was like i oh, would have wanted you to come see me i need me. to come by and see you and then there was nothing guys nothing else on that facebook post no. <laughs> maybe you dm'd me maybe i did we definitely hung out then so mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. We will be back on Monday with another far, fun card project idea. I was going to say fard card. I love a good fard. A, a fard project. A fun card project. So join us on Monday. Have an amazing weekend, and we will see you soon. Be Bye, sure guys. to subscribe, like, and share. We so appreciate it when you do, and we will see you very soon. Have a great day. Yay!